Coming up, a British... A British national arrested in Germany, accused of spying for Russia. The Lunchtime News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good afternoon. A Briton arrested in Germany, accused of spying for Russia, will appear before a court later this afternoon. The 57-year-old, known only as David S., is accused of handing over documents in exchange for cash while working at the British Embassy in Berlin. Chloe Keady has the latest. Rebecca Barry is at Scotland Yard this lunchtime. So, Rebecca, what more information is emerging about this suspect? Next this lunchtime, the Labour leader has laid into the government's COVID test system for Britons returning from holiday abroad. Sir Keir Starmer called them a rip-off and urged ministers to cut the cost or provide them for free. Well, there's mounting criticism about the costs of PCR tests and delays people face while waiting for results from the private companies which provide them. Our political correspondent Carl Dinan has this report. Well, joining us now is our regular lunchtime guest, GP, Dr. Sarah Jarvis. Dr. Jarvis, thanks so much for joining us this lunchtime. Um, lots of questions um, regarding the testing for travel, aren't there? Um, but let's just look at these day two tests. Now, a lot of people saying that they're arriving late. They're not, not even you know, being taken at the right time. They're often having to mm. wait for a long time for them to actually get their results. Questioning whether we, the efficacy or efficiency rather of these tests. And why can't we have lateral flow tests when we're going abroad and coming back and testing in that way? to sort out there isn't it um, let's move on now we heard from one government advisor i think it was yesterday professor andrew hayward who said that covid is because of the nature of the virus it is likely to mutate but it's also likely to become a seasonal illness much like influenza that we see every year it's going to be endemic rather than pandemic something that will become a part of our lives also said that we have to move away from this notion of herd immunity so Having said that, though, it is still incredibly important to get vaccinated, oh. obviously. And now we're thinking about booster vaccinations, aren't we? Which yeah. are we likely to see them rolling out as early as next month? At least 65 people have been killed in devastating wildfires in Algeria, including 25 soldiers trying to save residents from the flames. Over Nell Phillips reporting from Taylorsville in California. We'll hear the officer who fired the shots that killed terrorist Sudesh Shaman, who went on a stabbing spree in London in February last year, has described how he tried to shoot him three times before he finally fell to the ground. The undercover surveillance officer was giving evidence at the inquest into the attack, which happened in Streatham, where Juliet Bremner is at the Royal Courts of Justice. So, Juliet, talk, about, uh, talk us through rather, the evidence from this morning. So Andrew Strauss is best known as one of our finest cricketers and captaining one of the greatest ever England cricket teams. But on Friday, England's test match against India, he'll be out raising money for the foundation he set up following the death of his wife. Um, but this is going to be happening at Lords on Friday, isn't it? And um, just tell us a little bit more about what this involves, because it's called Red for Ruth Day. And I know you've done it before. We've actually talked about it before. Um, but when Ruth sadly died, now your sons were only 10 and, and 13, weren't they? And I think one of the things that the foundation uh, seeks to highlight is, is support for, for children who lose parents. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be slightly different this year, isn't it? Because it's going to be at Lords, as we say, but there's, there's going to be fans in the crowd. So yeah. all those COVID restrictions finally lifted. So we'll, uh, we'll have a, a certainly a different feel about it as well. Yeah, look. Well, from cricket to football and Lionel Messi has been presented by his new club, Paris Saint-Germain this morning. And finally, a boy from Devon who's been raising money for charity by sleeping in a tent has reached an important milestone. 500 consecutive nights camping outdoors or since star scene just over a year ago, Max Woozy, known as Tent Boy, has raised an incredible £640,000 for his local hospice. Armani Ibrahimi has the story. Oh, good work, Max. And that is it this lunchtime. I'm back with the evening news at 6.30. The latest where you are follows the national weather. But from everyone, bye-bye. Hello again. Now the main stories in London. Four gang members have been found guilty of murdering a young NHS worker in East London. The 
Heathrow has recorded its highest monthly passenger total since the coronavirus pandemic hit. More Chelsea Football Club are recognising the important contribution of a former player by naming one of their suites in Stamford Bridge in his honour. Well, Chelsea are back in action tonight in the final of the UEFA Super Cup. The Blues and a slice of Charles and Diana's wedding cake has fetched £1,850 at auction more than 40 years after they tied the knot. It was good advice. Um, sunshine is back, but for how much longer? Let's take a look at the forecast. Here's Amanda. And singer-songwriter Mabel, who rose to fame in 2017 with her breakthrough track Finders Keepers, will be on the programme later at six. Ooh, Duncan will be back for all of that and more. Until then, bye-bye.